Hello, you two. All right, we're back with this HP Pavilion 753N, and as you saw in the previous video, there was actually a restore partition left on this computer, which is quite unusual for a computer this old. Uh, they didn't really start using them until later on in the, in the 2000s, but I guess HP was a little ahead of the game there. So. This thing has a Windows XP COA on the side, so what I'm going to do is just restore the factory Windows XP from the recovery partition, and why? Because why not? It's there. It's valid. It's legal, and it works. So let's do it. All right. First, you got to turn the machine on. At least on most HPs, you just hit F10 at boot. and it'll boot into recovery mode. There you go. Oh, listen to that drive grind. Oh yeah. Those good old loud western digital drives. They never die either, which is kinda nice. This screen, I swear, this ViewSonic monitor doesn't know how to <laughs> angle anything properly. There it goes. This is what HP system recovery looks like. Looks remarkably like Windows XP. You can do non-destructive system recovery, which is not what I want to do. I want to do an absolutely destructive one. So I click Advanced Options. System recovery quick format. So what this will do is it will just erase the, uh, the system partition and then re-image it with what's in the uh, recovery partition. So we click next there. Then it then it actually this this thing is actually a pretty a good idea because it really HP did a good idea a good bleh, HP did a good job with this repair tool because it actually warns you of other options before you absolutely erase everything. Do you still want to continue with system recovery? Yes. Yes, I want to continue. So here's what it does. It'll just format the drive. And then you, you see the steps over there. It'll just do hard disk preparation. It'll copy the files. Do something with the CD-ROM. And I guess that's it. So this is probably going to come with a lot of software that I don't need, like Norton 2002. <laughs> so I'm probably going to have to install Revo Uninstaller and uh, remove some of the extraneous software that I don't need such as old versions of Norton, HP, the, the built-in HP software that I would never use amongst other things. I mean it's not like I'm limited on space. I have 80 gigabytes to play with but you know I, I, I don't like clutter so yeah. The, the nice thing is I think this came with Office so I think I'll still be able to use Office on this computer the built-in office, which will be kind of nice. Uh, I'm still not sure what I'm going to use this computer for, but it's going to get used for something. Um, I'm probably going to get a graphics card for it, uh, an FX5200 probably, and just stick that in there, because that's better than the onboard Intel graphics that are in there now. Uh, and I'll stick this someplace and use it. <laughs> Maybe probably just as a vintage XP machine, if anything. So... There you have it. So hopefully the power supply doesn't die, because that, cause that would spell disaster for uh, this computer. Well, it wouldn't. I could move the board to another case, because it's micro ATX. So it's ho not all hope is lost if that power supply goes. This case would just have to go. But <clears throat> anyway, that's future plans for this machine. I'm just going to use it as a vintage XP machine for now. I might change it to something else later, but for now it's just going to be an X, uh, you know, an XP machine to have lying around. So, nothing all too exciting. It's just going to be copying files for a while and then it'll ask you to restart. So, that's what a recup for those of you who don't really use recovery partitions, that's what they that's what they're like. They're very convenient. You just click yes, 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 and then it does all it needs to do. And this is what happens when it's done. It just tells you that the recovery's finished and to restart the computer. So let's reboot, shall we? 
There goes the fans. There we go. Windows XP Home Edition. This monitor, I swear. All right, here we go. It is churning. Welcome to Windows XP. I'm Victor from the Hewlett Packard Company and I'm here to help you set up your new computer. I can explain things as you move along. Anytime you need help, just click me with a mouse or press the F1 key. I'll be right here if you need me. That's different. <laughs> I have never seen that before in a Windows XP setup. HP, kudos. Lots of kudos. <laughs> That's great. HP Invent. So, they embedded a little logo up there. They got this little guy down here. We, we gotta play with this guy. We, we really do. I've never seen that before. <laughs> That's really weird. Alright. Is the sound system working? Oh, ah, yes, it is. Yeah, Zimbabwe. Uh huh. <laughs> da 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 da. How about Eastern Time? Yes, I accept the EULA and the other EULA. Let me name this computer real quick and just go through these prompts. An internet connection could not be chosen. It hasn't been the chosen one. Alright, let's figure that out. Oh wow, there's like his address and stuff in there. I should, uh, yeah. <coughs> I'm gonna change all that me just to make sure. Yeah, I don't want to register with HP. Are you kidding me? I don't need to. Don't remind me later. Don't be a nagging, annoying nuisance. And focus, you stupid camera. Thank you. And we are finished. Say goodbye to this guy. There's more? But wait, there's more! Sounds like it rebooted. Yeah, it did. Floppy. Alright, here we go. Now we'll be able to see what the stock installation on this looks like. Boots up pretty quick. I like how snappy this is. I like the Northwood CPUs. They're a hell of a lot better than the Prescott's, I think. <clears throat> Welcome to Windows XP. Oh, wow.
You must have an internet service provider. I do. It's called my ethernet cable. <laughs> Oh wow. Music match jukebox. Oh my god. <laughs> I haven't seen that in 10 years, man. How do I get rid of this annoying thing? Do I just go into internet access? Ah. Ah, that got rid of it. Cool. Norton is on Intel Graphics Technology. The Oh, great toolbars, of course. Wow, they put a lot of crap on this computer. A lot of which I'm going to take off, such as AOL. That toolbar that just popped up there. MSN Explorer. Hey, who remembers that? There's Quicken on here, too. WordPerfect Task Manager. Music Ma I'm gonna I'm gonna leave Music Match Jukebox on there just because that's that's nostalgia right there. This toolbar is just awful. There's a lot of bloatware in the stock install on here. So I'm gonna keep in touch with HP. Wow. Let's see. Came with a Win DVD though, so it'll play DVDs. Game channel. Came with a bunch of games actually, so that's kind of nice. Well, maybe we can take a look at those at some point. If they're any good, anyway, I'll play them and see if they're worth talking about. Music Match Jukebox. Norton Antivirus. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to totally get rid of that just right now because. Yeah. It's cancer. It's cancer to any computer. <clears throat> so. Let's get rid of that. So, this is what a, this is what the stock install on this HP looks like. It, 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 it's pretty loaded with bloatware. And, oh, it's this guy again. I just noticed. Check that out. It's this HP tour guide guy. We'll have to take a look at that as well. Well, now Norton is uninstalled. I'm not going to restart yet, but let's check out this tour guy guy. Tour guide guy again. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Windows desktop. I would like to help you get started using your new HP pavilion. How can I help you? Let me tell you a little about how I work. How you work? If I'm in your way, you can move me anywhere on the screen. Just place the mouse pointer on my head or body. And hold down the left mouse button as you move the mouse. My body is ready. <laughs> Let go of the mouse button, I'll drop into my new position. If you ever want to interrupt me, I won't even be insulted. You submissive Just little guy. Just on me once and I'll instantly stop talking. I'll even show you a menu like this so you can decide what you want to do next. I'm available to help you at any time. If you don't think you'll need me for a while, you can hide me. To do this, click me and then select exit the HP tour guide from the menu. Once I'm hidden, you can bring me back again. By clicking the HP Tour Guide icon. You can also start me by clicking the Start button, selecting all programs, then selecting Hewlett Packard, and clicking HP Pavilion. Yeah, 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 I think we know what we can expect now. Alright. <clears throat> so. Bye. <laughs> That is very unique. That that really is. Uh, <laughs> I commend HP on that. I think that's kind of uh, clever. I think that's kind of neat and clever. Reminds me of the uh, Packard Bell uh, software that teaches you how to use the mouse. <laughs> Except it's a goofy guy with 
in the tour guide. I can't believe they put him in the Windows setup. That's just bizarre. I've never seen that before. Did they put Office on here? I don't. I didn't see Office anywhere. Yeah, I don't think they put Office on here. They put Word Perfect Ten though. I guess that's something. You can do Word Perfect. Record now. Oh, that's for uh, CD burning. Yeah, there's not a whole. They didn't put a whole lot on here, but a lot of the stuff they did put on here was is just a bunch of bloatware. So I just thought I'd show you guys the restore process, and also at the uh, at the request of somebody here on YouTube, I show the restore process, and it just goes to show how much bloatware there was back in the day. I mean, there still is bloatware, but there, it's it's far less intrusive than it, than it was back then. There's just so much crap in here. There's qu they gave you a lot back then. They gave you Quicken, eMusic, Britannica, AOL, you know, MSN Explorer. All all this stuff is in there. So the rest, what I'm going to do next with this machine is just routine. I'm going to remove a bunch of the crap that I don't want. I'm going to update it. I'm going to update the crap out of Windows XP so that it's new. So that it's at uh. So that's so it's new, fresh and new, and uh, use it as a vintage XP machine, since XP will be a vintage OS uh, come next year. So there you have it. Just thought I'd show you the restore process because uh, I don't really do it often, and I figure some people don't do it often either. So figure it'd be worth taking a note of. So if I bored you to death, I apologize. If you enjoyed it, well. Great. Either way, have a good one, everybody. Ciao.